of time. So y'all, hey, welcome to the channel. Come on in, how y'all doing? I missed you. So I am about to go over there to the Sportsman Warehouse and we're going to see what items we can find to either add to our emergency preps or at least find something because um, if it's not within my budget I won't be getting it I'll come back and get it though but I have a budget for today We're going to mosey on in the store if that car don't hit me. And I haven't been over here in a while. I also get my, um, I bought uh, a few bang bangs out of here as well through the years. Sometimes you can get them really reasonable than going, you know, other places. So let's go into the store. And before we do, y'all go ahead and hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. And if you can, share me out. Okay, let's go in. Okay. Ooh, it's hunting season. I got a lot of this gear already. I should get one of these and do the, uh, the, uh, Canting stuff with uh, <laughs> Peggy and Don. So I had to turn the volume down because they were playing some music. Um, I was just looking at this gun case right here. Yeah, I said the G word. I probably shouldn't have. Should have said bang bang. But anyway, I was just seeing um, what it looked like. I already have a few. And then this thing right here that you put in your closet one of ours is already full and the other one's almost full so i kind of need to get another one so if you don't have any kind of earplugs um they have some in here i think the dollar tree also sells them but these are probably a better brand so over here you have the deer cam or really pest cam Pests can be animals, pests can be human beings. And one good way of not having to go outside to see what's going on on your property is to get one of these, set it up on a tree where it can't be seen, and you can pull it up on your computer or your phone. We have a few um, up in North Carolina, but I probably will get one for here. We do have a tent, but it is not as elaborate as these tents right here y'all i just had to look at them so i positioned the uh, camera so i could take a look i think having a tent is very important not necessarily this big of a tent because this is more of a hunting tent but something that you can put in your backpack so um y'all excuse what i have on but i was working out and i just grabbed the jacket and i ran out to the store um so i have all my workout clothes but it's pretty decent size in there. I wouldn't open this up in my house like if I, you know, we didn't have heat or anything and I wanted to open a tent up. I would choose a smaller tent because that's still a big space to try to heat up. So if you decide to purchase a weapon, I also would say purchase a decent holster, something that's not going to bulge out and people will be able to notice what you have. Also know the laws in your state when it comes to owning a weapon. And these bags are hunting bags, but you can use them as a go bag if necessary. So these will be great in the wilderness if you have to cut something in order to put your tent up. So when I look at bags like this, it's not just a fishing bag for me. It could possibly be a carry bag for medication or first aid items.
perfect example is this red fishing bag right here for your bait but you could use this for your first aid so you'll know it's red and it's your first aid bag and if you don't have a different bag and you want to create one for yourself this will be a great option and it has those containers on the inside that you can easily it has dividers in it so you can put band-aids um, splint items anything that you need to put in there you can do So these right here are some dry drums um, and you can store basically water or whatever you choose to store in it but I would say water because it's blue and normally that's what you store water in so these are some nice size barrels right here for the price and they also have some smaller ones as well So here's another option that you can go with something that's more easy to carry it looks like you know a gasoline can but of course it's blue if you wanted to take the wrapper off you could so people wouldn't know what it is unless they've been shopping for them themselves then they won't need one but anyway that's the tap right there that you put in and then it has the little spout on the other side again here's another option for you this is a collapsible bag for your water we have a couple of those as well. Not this particular one, but we do have one. But I think that that's nice right there, that little handy tote. And these were only, I think, $7. Only reason I didn't get it is because we already have a few. So this next item is a camp jug. You also put water in it. It's collapsible and it just sits on the table. And it has the spout where you can, you know, get your water. I thought this was a great find. I've never seen an igloo this big before, but it makes sense. If you have a big cooler or whatever, you want to be able to keep your stuff nice and cold and fresh. Here's a smaller water option. Maybe your child can tote it for you. You tote one and somebody else tote another. Anyway, this is what it um, does right here. Here's a bigger version. Well, not bigger version, but a different type of water. So I think it's 20 liters. They just have a, a lot when it comes to what you can get in this store. Here are your coolers and some smaller versions of the barrels. So the next items are filters for your water bottle. And one of them is actually a filter straw that you can supposedly put directly into whatever water source you come across and it should filter out any bacteria in that water. They had quite a few options on how you would prepare food for your family if you had to leave your home. So I guess whatever would fit you. Some are small and some are big, so. But they were nice choices to have. So these are the basically heavy duty dehydrators. This is a meat grinder. Then down here you have a butter churner. I have never seen one of these. I actually want one really bad now, but it was out of my budget but I do want one. So here's another dehydrator. So 
So these are some sleeping bags. And what you wanna look for in a good sleeping bag is depending on the temp, you need to be paying attention to which sleeping bag you get in your area what's gonna work that sleeping bag was it went down to negative zero so that's a great sleeping bag you don't want something that says um 45 degrees but it gets down to 25 degrees and like i said in my previous video you need to make sure you have whatever fuel you need to power whatever piece of equipment that you have. You don't wanna have one and not the other. I have the other stoves, but I think this fold and go was pretty good. I didn't know they had something like that small. If you have a blow up mattress for your inside of your tent area, then you might want to get a hand pump because you may not have electricity. Having a decent generator will come in handy. Um, they have different sizes here depending on how much you want to fuel your house. I don't think you need to have electricity run into everything, just the essential things, and it doesn't need to be all day because you got to take into account you will need fuel hey y'all us back <laughs> So I got out of that store because I I was in there and then I was like, I really need to get out of here because some people had masks on and I noticed some people did not have masks on and then people started coughing and I don't know if that's because they wanted to get this little black girl out of there. I don't know. But anyway, I don't want to judge anybody. So I picked up four of these, um, oh God, the sun, four of these uh, warming blankets right here, emergency blankets to add to our prepper pantry because I couldn't remember if we had any, but these only cost um, $2.29 and if we already have some, oh well, then we can share with you know anybody else who needs one and this says reflects body heat back to the body aluminized polyester wind and waterproof emergency blanket y'all right there yeah. that the, the lighting i'm about to go into roses and see what they have because i always forget to go in roses and my daughter will tell me my oldest daughter and i'll be like well i didn't spend all my money now so i can't go in there um but i'm about to go in there now and then i have uh one more place to go and that is a nursery because i need some stuff for the garden but i don't know what they have and because i've never been there before i'm on the opposite side of town so i don't want to talk a lot in this video i just want to get to it y'all okay y'all so i'm out of that store they really didn't have anything in there that now i remember why i don't don't go in there they don't have anything i want in there 
like they have some garden stuff, but um, for the most part, I don't know, y'all. Anyway, so only thing I got out there was when I was walking and looking. I got this two-sided bra wash bag right here. Well, you even may be see it because of the lighting, but that's what I got. And so I got this because I want to see. I, sh I know I can grow in this. And this is like to wash your undergarments. Um, this is not big at all. Look at that. I thought this was bigger. I should have got the big one. This is the size of this thing. This is crazy. I mean, I can still grow in it because it has the holes and open it. This thing, you could, if it was a bigger one, you could grow in it and close it up. I'll just use, it was only a dollar and a nine, y'all. You know? So, I'll use it for my bras. And then I got some extra lighters because I need them. And plus, my husband is always losing his and then go, do you have a lighter? And I'm like, no. And I know I do, but I say no because um, I don't want him to lose my lighters. I use them for my candles. I don't smoke. Anyway, let me go to this nursery. Today is seemingly a bust. The best thing I've gotten so far today are these little blankets right here. So... I am going to do a video and I will show you um, some things that you can get and I'll just have to shop it in my house so I can show you what you can get to put in your house if it's something that you desire for your family, if it's something you think that y'all need. So I'm going to run over to the nursery and I will be right back and I'll close the video out. So this is my last store this is the academy sports or sports academy however you say it and i went straight over to the camping section because i knew what i was looking for that i wanted to show you guys all of the different freeze-dried and dehydrated things that they have over here um you can choose what you want to do you can try to do them yourself also and save a few bucks and then they had this astronaut um meal no yeah it was a meal it was ice cream but y'all know i didn't do well with um the mountain house ice cream I, it, I just did not like it but here are a bunch of mountain house um foods no i'm not sponsored by them but they need to and so um lots of variety So I'm going to let the video play out and let you see what they had in here that you can get some ideas from and maybe get them from somewhere else if you don't want to get them out of here. Two last things. Notice how empty these shelves are in the camping section. They look like they have been cleared out because they were stocking everywhere else, but they had nothing over here to stock except for on one other aisle. And also, if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and like this video, y'all, and help a girl out. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and become a part of the family.
So if you're going to get a first aid kit that's already prepared, make sure it has everything in there that you need and you don't need to add anything to it or just make sure you read it so that way you'll know if you need to add something to it. So yeah, that quick clot is something good to have. Also your bug sprays as well. These right here, sleeping bags, he was just putting these out. These go down to 45 degrees. So you might wanna think about that depending on the area you're in. Two-way radios are very important to have as well. In case those lines are down, binoculars are also a good thing. So y'all, I have a squirrel problem. I know this is too much for a squirrel, but I was thinking maybe a air one would help me with the squirrel population in my backyard digging up my garden. I was in someone else's live over the weekend and um, someone in there said use a slingshot. The next items are pepper spray and sting guns. I think that's how you say it. Good job. 